Hello Sadhguru, it's Luis R here. Hope you're okay and uh, wishing you all the best uh, in your adventure. So great to see your, your determination. So yes, keep going. Uh, I want to ask you a simple question. So how you manage to calm down? I know, I know that there is uh, some situation where we get annoyed and get uh, almost aggressive. Um, people may sometimes be aggressive um, and you have to say to them, calm down. And actually, it does uh, annoy them even more. So how you do to actually calm them down? Because it's, uh, it's a very important um, skill to have, I think, to just like try to have a uh, the good attitude to actually uh, get back to a normal conversation or communication. Thank you, Sadhguru. Namaskaram uh, Saha, I hope you remember that I came uh, to your club when you were in Everton. <laughs> that was some time ago, since then you must have moved on. Uh, I've seen you play, it's been wonderful to watch you play. Well, uh, there are various kinds of people. The most important thing is, we don't allow them to decide who we are, that's what is most important. So, this is a simple thing, I've never allowed someone else to decide whether I can be happy or unhappy or peaceful or not peaceful or what I do and what I don't do. Well, in the physical world, people can limit you from doing something, but how you are within yourself, this is nobody's business, this is our business. So how do we calm others down? Well. You will be surprised if I say this, if we are in a certain way, people around us will naturally settle down. To what extent means, I'll tell you. You might have seen images of me handling king cobras and other venomous snakes effortlessly. I watched them and observed them from very early childhood and noticed that if you are very calm, they have no issues with you. You can take a wild snake in your hand just like that and there's simply no issue. Even now when I catch a king cobra, I'm not holding him by the head, I'm taking him in the middle and taking him up, but he won't bite me because he reads my chemistry. And when my chemistry is absolutely undisturbed, without any agi agitations or aberrations, he settles down. This is true with snakes, this is true with human beings, this is true with plants, this is true with every other creature. This is significantly noticeable when an animal is particularly aggressive or venomous in nature. I must tell you, when I used to wander in the forests of southern India, people used to always wonder, how do I survive, what do I eat? Because there is not so much fruit or, uh, you know, roots or something that you can eat there. I largely survived on honey. I took a small fifteen-inch plastic tube, stuck it into the beehives up in the trees, and sucked out the honey. As far as they were concerned, they saw me as just one of them, because my chemistry was very, very balanced. When I say bees, the southern Indian bees, the large bees are like this long, black bees. If they bite you in the face, eight, ten of them, if they bite you in the face, you will die of suffocation. If you happen to open your mouth and they go and bite you inside, one will do. One bee inside, the throat, if they bite you, one bee can kill you. But they never bit me because they thought I was one of them, just a big bee. So this is the nature of life and existence, that who we are is what we get. If we create a certain level of balance, it doesn't matter whom we meet, somehow unknowingly, without they being conscious about it, they will also become peaceful. It is something that you must do in your life. Whatever the footballing, I don't know if you're still playing, I, uh, I'm sorry I'm asking such questions, but I'm, uh, I've not been following the game much uh, in the last couple of years. Uh, if you're playing or if you're training people or whatever other things you're doing with your life, 
If the best must happen, the most important thing is, you have a sense of absolute balance. It doesn't matter who we meet, it doesn't matter what kind of things the world throws at us. What we make out of it is one hundred percent ours, nobody can take this away from us. It is my wish and my blessing that you must be able to fulfill your purpose. You must be able to express yourself fully in this world. You must live your life to the fullest and that will not be possible when other people's action will influence our way of being. The moment other people's actions and words influence our way of being, then we are no more free. We are enslaved to those people. Let's break the slavery. Let's make this happen for yourself and for everybody in the world. This must happen. I will ask them to send you link of Inner Engineering online. Please go through this process. Uh, it will help you to some extent. Someday, please come down to India. We will put you on a certain process where you can be a great force of peace in the world. Having been a known, well-known footballer, you have the power to influence and inspire the youth towards a better life, please make that happen.